I'm really excited to introduce you all to my best friend, Claire Horowitz. We've been friends since first grade, so that's been a huge part of our life. Claire has always inspired me to tap into my creative side, my more artistic side. We are what I would call kind of opposites, but it's really cool how we work together. So um, welcome, Claire. I'm so happy to have you here on the show. Thank you happy for being here. Happy to be here. here. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so we're going to do a little different. Um, we're going to start with some games. So are you ready to play? Ready. All right. So we're going to do rapid fire. Um, so I'm going to ask you some questions and um, set the clock for one minute. Okay. Um, and just let me know when you're ready. Okay. I'm ready. All right. So <laughs> timer start. Who's your favorite artist? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I guess it would be um Edward Gorey. Ooh. Um, are you an introvert or extrovert? I, it depends. I guess I'm more of an introvert, <laughs> but I can be an extrovert if I have to. Nice. <laughs> uh, what's the most adventurous thing you've ever done? I'm not very adventurous. <laughs> if you had to choose. If I had to choose, I guess it would be um, when I studied abroad. Um, where's the first place you'll go after quarantine? Uh, <laughs> well, probably the craft store. <laughs> What's your um, favorite comfort food? Cheesecake. Ooh, and what's your philosophy about work? Uh, ooh, glad I didn't have to answer that. <laughs> oh, you don't want to answer it. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Okay, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, and I'll give you the sixth one because I oh, asked it. Okay. <laughs> okay. All you. right. So, um, oh, so who is your favorite artist? Edward Gorey. Oh, what has he done? He's, um, he, well, he's a children's book artist. Oh, okay, okay. He does, have you ever seen Masterpiece on PBS? Yeah, I have. You know the beginning of it with all the cartoon figurines? Yeah. That's him. Oh, okay. Very cool. I thought you were going to say, like, I don't know, Picasso well, or something. Well, I mean, I've, I have many favorite artists. I know. That's the one. That was a pretty, like, <laughs> hard question to start off with. It was, it was not a softball. <laughs> No, it was not. No. <laughs> we actually both went to college together and we chose very different majors. What major did you choose? I chose art. Yeah. So, um, well, I always wanted to be an artist. I told my grandpa um, when I was like eight years old, I wanted to be a starving artist when I grew up. So... <laughs> It was meant to be. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. yeah. No, that's, I mean, you got to dream big and <laughs> follow those dreams. That's right. Yeah. So um, along with art, though, you also studied Spanish, right? I did. Right. Yes. Yeah. And um, you studied abroad in Spain. Can you tell us kind of what your process was in choosing where to go and um, like why Spain? Why Spain? Yeah. Oh, well. I mean, I, I already spoke the language a little bit, so I, I wanted to go somewhere where I could be comfortable because I'd never been away from home for that long. Yeah. So I wanted, and but I didn't want to speak English because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what would be the point? Right. <laughs> I wanted to learn something. Plus, Spain had an art, had art classes. Oh, okay. I didn't Which know that. Which is main reason why I wanted to go to Madrid. Okay. So you chose Madrid um, for kind of to be comfortable with the language, but not too comfortable. Mm -hmm. well, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it had some classes for art. And then did it help you along with your Spanish? Was it a mi major or minor that you had? Well, at the time it was a minor. Okay. But by the time I got back from Spain, I made it a major because... Oh, awesome. Because okay. you had enough yeah. credits? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's great. And um, 
How long were you in Spain for? Sick. Um, maybe not uh, a semester. A semester. Okay. Yeah. And um, so you went through the university's program called USAC, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And like when you traveled there, what um, did you kind of go with the group or did you go on your own? Do you remember? Oh, I went with the group. Um, <laughs> you know, the easiest way. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny. Uh, the reason I ask is because I studied abroad <laughs> after you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I went. So honestly, like I'm going to be honest here because you chose Spain. I was like, well, I'm not going to go to Spain because Claire went to Spain. <laughs> I'm going to do something different. So I went to Italy <laughs> and yeah, I didn't go with the group. And looking back, I might have made a different decision. <laughs> um, I mean, it it led to an adventure. I ended up in landing in Rome, like right before the trains closed. And um, I had to take a taxi to Viterbo, which was, mm-hmm. it, I mean, it was an, I think an hour or more taxi ride. Long tech ride. Yeah. So it was a very expensive ride. Yes. So I, and then I, when I got there, like no one was up and I had to check into the hotel and I didn't know, I didn't know much <laughs> Italian. And it's a lie when they tell you, oh, if you know Spanish, Italian's super easy. Like I get what you're saying. It's easy to learn it because yeah. the structure is similar, but mm-hmm. it's definitely not the same. There's it's definitely different, different, different vocabulary. Language. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, that was, that's funny. I remember. <laughs> so, um, Okay, so you decided to go to Spain. Um, you were there for a semester. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was? Do you remember what a day? What was a day in the life of a study abroad student in Madrid? Well, let's see. I'd get up, go on, get on the metro. Well, first I'd wake up my roommates because they were a little hard. They were a little <laughs> less of morning people than I was. You are always and always have been a morning person. That's true. <laughs> And then I would get on the metro and go to school, take a few classes, come home. And in the summertime, before I got back to my apartment, I would always go and get a gelato. Ooh, yum. <laughs> um, Very cool. Because it was right on the way home. Did yeah. you pick up any, like, traditions with your roommates while you were there? Yeah, I mean, we, I, we always... Let's see. It's really taxing my memory because it was so, so long ago. I know it has been a while. Well, the one thing they taught me is how to cook for myself because, I mean, all I could do was like go to a restaurant and uh-huh. I had never had to cook for myself before. Mm. So you, yeah, you definitely got to uh, learn a new skill. Yeah. That's very yeah, necessary. So we would always, we would always one of us would cook and we'd sit down and have a meal together. So that was always nice. Oh, that's so cool. How yeah. many uh, roommates did you have? I had two. Okay. And were they from the same school? They were from UNLV. Okay. So down in Vegas. Yeah. Okay. And what yeah, was your, were... what was your apartment like? Was it big, small? Did you have your own room? I mean, it was, I had my own room and they shared a room. Okay. Cause they knew each other. Oh, I was going to ask, um, had they known each other? Yeah, they knew each other beforehand. So I got the room by myself. Nice. But it, I mean, it was a relatively small apartment, yeah. but it was enough for us. <laughs> when we went to Spain, like it was years after you studied abroad, we went to Madrid mm-hmm. and you kind of showed me the ropes. Where was that place we went? Um, was it with um, Chocolate and Churros or? Oh, yes. Well, I remember, if I remember correctly, we got a little lost trying to find it. <laughs> <laughs> right by one of the clubs right they were. yeah it's like yeah churros y chocolate that's mm. that was my favorite thing to have in the middle of the night yeah after a yes. good night out yes awesome I know I think if I remember correctly we kind of worried the rest of our party because we had wandered yes. off <laughs> we wandered off and <laughs> we're not seen for a few hours yes <laughs> But we made it back. We made it back. No, we did. We did. (laughs) So how many classes did you take while you were in Spain? I think it was three or four. 
Okay. There was one class that I wish I had taken, but I was I was too insecure, I guess, to take it. It was a flamenco class. Ooh, that would have been fun. Yes, I think that was flamenco. Yeah, it was a dance class. I'm okay. pretty sure it was flamenco. Yeah, it would have been fun. Yeah. And all, everybody else took it, but I oh. was... Well, now... I'm not a dancer. <laughs> well, maybe we should... Uh... We should look for a class and get outside both of our comfort zones because I think that'd be something yeah. <laughs> that would, uh, I don't always, I wouldn't consider myself a dancer, but it would be fun. I'd be more open to it now. Yeah. Guess, now that I know. <laughs> I, know. I missed out on all the fun. I know. You know, in the college years, I don't know, it's just so many insecurities and because I you're know. figuring, you know, life out and who you are. Yeah. And I think, I think now we're we're a little more comfortable with ourselves. So I like to think so. Yeah. <laughs> it's just taken many years of discomfort. Yes. Yeah. Oh, what types of classes? You said there were art classes. Were they like? Yeah. Well, art history classes. Oh, okay. Okay. But, um, let's see. I took a surrealism class. Um, I took a class in um, l- women's literature. Oh, okay. Latin American women's literature. I think that was the name of the class. I still have the textbook. <laughs> oh, awesome. They had that in Spain? Women's yeah. Women. Well, it was it was also Spanish. Oh, okay, okay. Focus. But it was like women, it was a women's literature class, but a lot of the women were Latin American. Oh, okay. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, the reason I asked, because in Italy, I took this one class that required me, like it was it was a cool class. We went around... Um, to different small towns and they would like our professor would tell us about the architecture of the mm-hmm. buildings and like all this stuff but we had to draw it and it was like oh. my worst nightmare <laughs> oh I, I bet it would be oh. and I think that was definitely I think I gotta be in that class because I just I don't know it was not my it was not my cup of tea <laughs> I think that's but I, fun. I was gonna say I, I feel like that would have been a great class for you I would have loved that yeah, yeah. so um I know because you've also recently inspired me to try uh Picasso and wine or we kind of do our um, own thing the Bob Ross yes. and wine mm-hmm. so there have been uh I've had a few breakdowns from it but <laughs> Just kidding. It's okay. Yeah. No. It's good for you. It's good for everyone to express their creativity in some way. I agree. And I, um, I'm i glad that you've you've encouraged me to do it. I won't say pushed. <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'm, I'll put the I'm positive spin on it. <laughs> Since you've always been very positive. <laughs> try. Yeah. So let's see. In Spain, did you travel um, on your own? Like, did you stay a little longer or did you take um, long weekends to to explore either cities or countries nearby? Um, I didn't leave Spain very much. I went around Spain a lot. Okay. Just little weekend trips. Fun. Um, we went to, my roommates and I went to Dublin in December, Ooh. which was very cold. <laughs> <laughs> but we got a cheap flight. And nice. when you're 20, that's- That's important. That's important thing. Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. What yeah. what other parts of Spain did you visit on the weekends? Uh, let's see the southern coast. We went to Barcelona. Mm-hmm. I, or no, I went to Barcelona with my mother when she visited. Me. Oh, fun. Yes. Um and I know you like Barcelona. I do like Barcelona. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see we went to Alicante, which is like a beach town. Ooh. And you know how much I love the beach. <laughs> which is not at all. <laughs> No, not at all, but it was fun. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> the um, It's always interesting, or Spain is interesting because you go south and it's like the Moorish influence, very Arabic looking, and you go north and it's more like Irish. Ooh, I didn't you know? know that. That's really cool. Yeah. That is interesting because in Italy it's, yeah, the there's a difference between like the south and then the north Mm -hmm. the north is very like i think austrian german influence Mm -hmm. and the south Mm -hmm. is more like mediterranean um it's it's amazing the diversity in a country um and when i was in italy it's like it's smaller right than the us and i think Mm -hmm. it's, it's smaller than spain but even within that 
like small country, just traveling different to different cities or parts of mm-hmm. the country is so it's so informative and there's different cultures. Mm-hmm. It really, I don't know about you, but it inspired me to explore like the US when I came back, kind of different. Me too. Right, yes. different parts yeah. of the country. Is there anything from that experience that you've just kind of hung on to or a lesson that you're like, I don't know, like a aha moment from studying abroad? Well, it definitely taught me to be more independent because I didn't have my mother to <laughs> to guide me along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I had to figure things out on my own. Yeah. I think... Um, well, traveling, but also specifically studying abroad because you're living in another country. It's not mm-hmm. just, you know, you're not just roughing it for two weeks. You know, anyone, well, I think anyone can get by, you know, maybe a, a short trip or whatever. But yeah. you have to, like, learn to live yes. Um, yes. in another culture. And mm-hmm. yeah, so that is, um, it's a really great growing opportunity. It is. So. And yeah, it made me more... I guess, confident in myself. Yeah, yeah. Well, because you're like, oh, I, I can do this. <laughs> I can do this little thing called life. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. That's awesome. That's really cool. We actually went to Australia for World Youth Day, and then a few years later, we were able to go to Spain mm-hmm. for World Youth Day in Madrid. Um, and that time we did it on our own. <laughs> yes, exactly. We did do it on our own. We didn't go with the group. We met up with the group at that time, but but that gave us an opportunity to see a lot of different um, mm-hmm. countries, if I remember yeah. correctly. Before that trip, you crocheted Norman the Gnome. Do you remember I did. that? I did. I don't, what made you, what made you create Norman? Do you remember? Well, I was um, <laughs> I was paging through a crochet magazine, uh-huh. and I saw that um, saw that pattern, mm-hmm. and I was I think really into Amelie at the time. You know the movie Amelie, yeah, where she um, takes her father's garden gnome oh. and sends it on trips with a stewardess and like pretend. And, it pretends to send postcards to her father to get him out of the house. Oh. I don't know. Do you remember that? No, I don't remember that portion of it. But I, like, I I know of Amelie. It's, I don't. That, have to... that part of the movie stuck with me. So I thought, oh, I'll make a gnome for us to travel with. That is so cool. Because we did. We, like, had mm-hmm. photos with him. And um, we kind of updated a blog to keep our families mm-hmm. kind of in the loop of what was going on. I didn't know that's um, what inspired you to do it. That's so cool. (laughs) Well, and like you're, you're super good at crocheting. You've crocheted a lot of different, um, a lot of different things um, aside from, from Norman. What are, I guess, what are some of your favorite projects? Well, I do love, I love doing stuff like Norman, like the stuffed animals. Mm -hmm. That's super cute. Um, Lately, I've been trying to get rid of yarn. <laughs> so really? I've been doing a lot of blankets. Ooh, very nice. So I've become a, a bit of a yarn collector, and it's I don't have much room in my <laughs> my room anymore. <laughs> and you've even crocheted your own shirts before. I have. Yeah. How difficult is yeah. that? It's It's not that difficult. It's just... It's just like making anything. You just, just keep going it. and then put it together at the end. I don't know. It's, yeah. It takes a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so some patience maybe. Yeah, patience. Yeah. When did you start crocheting? In high school, I remember I took a crafts class because I had run out of art classes. <laughs> and I didn't want to take sculpture for some reason. Oh, that's funny. Um, and we did, we, we learned to crochet and I just, I loved it. Yeah. That sounds so fun. I think you tried to teach me how to crochet, but. It's, it's not easy to teach people, you know, how to do things. That's true. It's much easier to teach strangers. (laughs) I agree. I agree. Uh, (laughs) 
<laughs> so, okay, you've been crocheting since high school. You do blankets. You've done some really nice hats, too. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to see one of my hats? Yeah, I'd love to. Oh. I made this for my mother's friend who just had a baby. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Poor little tiger. Yeah. Wow. You have some amazing stuff. I keep trying to get you to sell it on Etsy. Oh, well. <laughs> Start your own business. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. Well, for people who are watching this, is there a way they could follow you or get in touch I'm with you? I'm Artsy Fartsy Claire. You can find me on Etsy. I don't think there's anything in my shop right now, but maybe some. Soon. Do you we'll take be. requests? I do take requests within reason. <laughs> That's fair. Awesome. Yeah, no, it's I've always been very uh, impressed by your ability to create. So Claire, with Live Forward Love Now, we talk about what we're living forward to. Can you share with us what you're living forward to? what I'm living forward to. Yeah. Well, I suppose one day I'd like to be able to make money from what I love doing, making things. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's a great, great living forward to. I try. <laughs> and what do you love now? What do I love now? That's a harder question. Yeah. <laughs> it is a hard question. I love that with my job now, I have time to do the things I love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that it's, um, you know, sometimes having a job to, you know, pay the bills, but that is flexible enough to allow you to do your hobbies is, I think it's important. Like sometimes that's, you know, that's how we are able to do what we love. So that's, right. that's awesome. Yeah. Is there anything else you think um, would be interesting for the audience to know either about you or do you have a tip for them? A tip? Yeah. <laughs> tip. No, I don't know. <laughs> be creative. Yeah. I love it. Try something new. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Claire, for joining us on Live Forward Love Now. It's been really fun talking with you. It has been fun. Hey, you made it to the end. Thanks for sticking in there. If you're interested in learning more about Claire's arts and crafts, Check her out on Etsy under Artsy Fartsy Claire. If you want to hear more inspiring interviews, go to Live Forward Love Now and check out interviews from all sorts of people. Or if you just want to support the channel, go ahead and click like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for your support. You inspire me. Go out and inspire others.